Now, Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals with your first alert storm team forecast. It's July, we're moving into hurricane season, and there are two systems in the Atlantic Ocean. One is a hurricane, that's Beryl. It's still out in the central Atlantic. The second one is now a tropical depression. That's tropical depression number three, halfway between the Carolinas and Bermuda. Let's talk about Beryl first. The winds are 80 miles an hour. It's a category one, and it still has that same westward motion at 15 miles an hour. Just like yesterday, this is small. The hurricane force winds only 20 miles across. That means it could fit within Mobile County. The tropical storm force winds go out about 70 miles, and that's about Mobile and Baldwin counties put together. So it's a small system. Nonetheless, the Caribbean is getting ready for something that will be a little bit stronger tomorrow. Winds likely to go to 90 miles an hour, approaching Martinique, places like St. Lucia, where they have uh, hurricane watches and warnings posted. And notice the forecast cone is extended now, including the Dominican Republic, maybe Cuba by the middle of next week. But also focus on the winds, first increasing and then decreasing, getting through the weekend. Definitely a rainstorm. Fortunately, a small storm, but most of the islands of the Caribbean are watching it carefully. So even though the official forecast stops basically in four days, the remnants of this may continue moving west, northwestward, or it's very possible they can take a hook and go up the east coast. So right now, no signs that it's coming into the Gulf, which means don't be concerned, but just keep up with the forecast on your free News 5 weather app. There's tropical depression number three. That has winds of just 30 miles an hour. So it's that disturbance I talked about for the last couple of days. Now look at the forecast models on this. Notice how they go every single direction for about two or three days, and then they all eventually go northeastward. What that means is it's moving in such a, an area where the winds are so light, it really has no direction. And that's going to worry the east coast of the United States. And when storms linger, especially near warm water, they have the potential to grow and strengthen. So here's the forecast track for this. It's not a cone, it's a bubble, and the bubble means it's not really moving in any given direction. Wind speed projections, 40 miles an hour tomorrow, 50 Sunday, 60 Monday, up to 75 or 80 by Tuesday or Wednesday. What that means is this will likely become the next name storm. Tomorrow, it will likely be Tropical Storm Chris, and then by Tuesday or Wednesday, it could be Hurricane Chris going more northeasterly between the East Coast and the island of Bermuda. Now, all that could change. It is a forecast. Keep up day by day. The weather changes, the steering winds change, but the one thing for us that looks so-so this weekend, we're not going to have a tropical system, but look at the steering winds. All those clouds across the Ohio Valley are being blown toward us, and that means we're going to be a little bit more wet.